This is how you can scoop up 97 overall Justin Jefferson, aka the second best grittier you see on the screen right here for free today. Now, Soul Soul Sif family, and welcome back to another Madden 24 video. Hope you're watching this one or having a wonderful start to your week. Hope you had a great weekend. And without further ado, let's get it started. Now, boys, as you can see on the screen right here, 97 overall Justin Jefferson is available at level number 17 of the competitive field pass, and you can actually get enough CP today to get the player. And just fair warning, if you're an FBI officer or a police officer watching this, this video i'm gonna say cp a lot in this video it doesn't mean what you think <laughs> now boys as you guys can see right here let's quickly take a look at these stats on this player because this is honestly one of the best free cards to grind for probably the number one free card to grind for actually in madden 24. now 97 overall jj has 98 speed making him one of the fastest players in this game he's six foot one the route running is incredible the catching is incredible but the speed and the acceleration they're kind of like the highlights of this card and then obviously jj is one of the more balanced receivers in the nfl he can really run any route in the route tree he's got ridiculous hands and that's going to be shown on this card. Now, how do you get the man for free today? Well, let's talk about it. But before we do, boys, here is one of my picks over on Underdog Fantasy for the NBA games going on today. Now, if you want to check out Underdog Fantasy, they run specials basically every single day. I think there's a special dropping in 10 minutes after I watch this video. And if you're a new sign up, you're going to get a second guaranteed special as well. You're going to get Luka Doncic's line set to 0 0.5 points. So if you sign up today, you're getting Luka's free line plus another special. I'm going to leave Underdog linked down below in the description, boys. Use the promo code SWIFT as you're signing up and let's get back to the video. All righty, now Justin Jefferson, how do we get him? Well, we're going through the competitive field pass and when we get to level number 17, which is the equivalent of 811 CP, that gets you a JJ. And boys, as you guys can see, I personally am at 300 CP right now. So I'm almost halfway to getting this Justin Jefferson and this only came out a couple days ago. Now, what is the strategy to follow to get the JJ card today? That's probably what you're wondering. Well, let's take a look at how much competitive pass points we can get by going through and completing each of these missions. So for much champs right here. These missions, of course, are resetting every single week. And if you go through and knock out all of these, which means you're winning 20 games, you're getting your passing yards, kickoffs, wins, and touchdowns, that's going to give you 300 CP. So that right there is very, very nice progress. Now, as we take a look at the milestones right here, these milestones are really where you can rack it up. Because if we take a look at how much CP is available from going through and completing every single one of these milestones, that would be a total of 650 CP, not including this game right here, not including this mission. This one gives you 200 but it's a little bit difficult to complete. So not including this mission right here, you can get 650 CP. That right there is enough total competitive points to go through and get the player for free. But you're probably wondering, Swift, what's the best strategy to go through here and get all the competitive points needed to get Justin Jefferson? Because of course, if we take a look at the math right there, there's about 800 or sorry, 950 competitive points you can go through and earn by doing the milestones and much champions. When you throw in solo battles as well, that number gets closer to like 1.1K. So what strategy should you guys be following to get competitive pass points in the quickest way possible. Well, I think number one is you're going to want to win at least 15 Mud Champions games. I would get to 15 Mud Champs wins. It's not that difficult to go through and get wins in Mud Champs. It's kind of what I'm grinding right now. I find it pretty fun. I also like the fact that we're getting stats as we go through it. As you guys can see right here, if you take a look at my head to head seasons, I believe I'm currently 8 and 0 in Mud Champs, which is solid. And hey, the games really aren't that difficult. A lot of the time people will quit out. I did actually have a sweaty game in my last one. Really fun game though, 138 31. But otherwise, most of them are pretty quick. You're usually going to force a rage quit if you're somewhat decent before halftime. Now, obviously, if you're maybe not as good of a player, Mud Champs is still something I would recommend, but you might struggle a little bit. Now, once we've gone through and gotten our Mud Champs wins, we're likely going to have a nice bit of competitive points. Once I get to like 10 to 15 wins or maybe 15 wins, I would assume I'll probably be close to like 500 competitive points. I'm not going to obviously have the Justin Jefferson quite yet, but once we've done that, then it'll be time to grind solo battles. And while we're grinding these solo battles, you're really just looking to run up the score. You're looking to score as many touchdowns as you can, score as many points points as you can and really just knock out any of these straggler missions like two point conversions. I'd be going for two in my solo battles. I'd also be getting my kick return yards in solo battles. I could probably go through and knock out this entire mission in one game. And of course, really all these missions, you're going to be getting progress on all them while you're playing your solo battles because solo battles is when you're really running up the score and just putting up a ton of stats, an absolute ton of stats. So my strategy for you and what I would suggest you do if you want Justin Jefferson today is get to about 50 and much champions wins, then grind solo battles. If you guys do that, that's probably going to allow you to go through and get to the magic number of 800. Now, obviously, if you wanted to, you could try and win 20 much champions games. I don't think that's necessarily needed, though. Once you get to like 10 to 15, you're probably going to hit a point where it's probably more worth grinding stats than it's worth grinding for wins. So that's when you kind of want to go to solo battles and get these milestones done. To buy Madden 24 coins for the cheapest price on the internet, check out MMOEXP by clicking the link in the description and use promo code SWIFT at checkout for 5% off. Now, another question that I'm absolutely going to get is, should I go through and do this? Because this is not a simple feat. This is going to take 
take a lot of grinding. Now, I know a lot of people, they did this in one day. They did this on the day Justin Jefferson came out. That's a demonic grind, but that does tell you that it's not that impossible to get this done. Now, what should you do? Well, for me personally, I'm probably not going to go through and get Justin Jefferson today. I'm probably not going to go through and get Justin Jefferson within the next couple of days. It's probably going to take me about seven more days. I would say seven days feels like a good number because once we get three more days and 19 hours passed, then this much ambient mission is going to reset, allowing me to get another 300 CP by playing much champs. And for me personally, I much prefer much champs. Now, I will hop into a couple solo battles games here and there and just absolutely run up the score, but I kind of prefer to do that when there's like another mission in the game and that I'm doing at the same time. But I will say this Justin Jefferson is the best free player in Madden 24 right now. There's also not a ton of other stuff to grind for necessarily if you're done with your combine pass, which I am right here. There's not a ton of other stuff to grind for. So really playing online and then hopping in solo battles is all you got to do. Now, I will say for me personally, this is one mistake that I'm actually making. It's that I'm not playing enough solo battles. All I've done is play much champion so far. If I just spent like one hour grinding solo battles and got into like one or two games, absolutely ran up the score, got kick return yards, got touchdowns, got two point conversions. I think I'd be getting at least like 100 to 150 CP per game if I decided to do that. That feels like something I should probably take a look at, but I just haven't done yet. So yeah, boys, that is how you get Justin Jefferson for free, fellas. We also have a midfield pack and a red zone pack to open up as well as a free 94 overall BND, aka Cruise Fantasy Pack. Now this one right here that we're opening up, I actually got from the competitive field pass as well. I want to say like level number five, you get this one. And for most people watching this video, I think that the best selection is going to be Justin Matabike. Justin Matabike is likely going to have a role on almost every single person's team. Now, if you don't want Matabike, I think there's other decent options in here, but most of them probably wouldn't play on your team. The reason why Matabike is so good is because he gets an X factor, which is basically going to allow him to get pass rush wins a lot quicker and allow him to just dominate offensive linemen because of his X factor. Now, even though the stats aren't amazing, he's only got 88 speed. This X factor that he comes with, the unstoppable force, aka Cruz, is really, really good. It's going to give you five basically dominant pass rush wins on the first five plays of the game. Then it's all for five. Then it's on for five. So it's basically going to be guaranteeing you, you get to the quarterback really, really easily. Otherwise, there's no zero AP abilities on this card, but this is the card I'd probably recommend 90% of people pick. And also we got the red zone pack as well as the midfield pack to open up right here, boys. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Just want to apologize for no video yesterday as well. I uh, had a late, late night on Saturday. If you guys follow me on Twitter, you saw some funny content over there. Maybe I'll put up a couple photos on the screen, uh, but had a very, very late night on Saturday. Kind of woke up a little bit sick and was like, you know what? I don't know that I can drop a video tomorrow. Did want to post this one yesterday, but what can you do? 90 overall Vaughn Miller. Actually a pretty solid red zone pack so far. A uh, Boyd Stephen. We're going to get a 88 overall Rashid Walker. These cards don't sell for a ton though. Like 90 overalls, as you guys can see, 30k, not the worst thing in the world. I feel like coins right now are kind of hard to come by and coins are at a premium. Like coins are king right now. I would way rather have a nice bit of coins than have like a really solid team. And I feel like that's kind of the situation I'm in. Team of the year coming out on Thursday, expecting maybe another market crash. But yeah, boys, that is going to do it for me. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to scroll down and drop a like, hit that red subscribe button if you are new. And until next time, love y'all. Peace.